Hey there, Francis Schott here from Stage Left in Cafe Lombardi and stageleftwineshop.com. And I want to show you a few things that we're pretty excited about. There's a wine that we've had for about a year now that is only getting better. It's fantastic. It is taken from granite. Taken from granite, 1995 Cabernet Sauvignon from North Yuba, California. This wine was made at the Renaissance Vineyard um, uh, by a guy named Gideon Weinstock when he was the winemaker there. The wine was stayed in the cellar for 22 years, and then uh, Gideon came back and bought a pallet of it. We bought it from Gideon, who's the original winemaker. And 25-year-old Cabernet Sauvignon, you don't really see very often available for retail sale in the United States for well under $100 a bottle. It's fantastic, but I need to teach you a few things if you're not used to drinking older wine. First of all, whenever you drink an older wine like this, um, there is a good possibility the cork may break, um, especially if it's not an old Bordeaux, and even sometimes when it is. Um, corks just don't last that long. I mean, they last long enough to keep the wine in good condition, but they're gonna break when you pull them out. So you can always run the wine through some cheesecloth if you like to get out little cork bits. It won't kill you. Um, but there's a way that you can have the best possible success for getting the cork out of the bottle. The other thing about old wines like this is they do drop some sediment. So don't shake it up around a lot. That's why we store wine bottles label up on the side so we always know where the sediment is. And in a best case scenario, we leave the bottle standing up for several hours, maybe even overnight. So all that sediment goes to the bottom because that adds some bitterness to the wine. We wanna get that off the wine. So I'm gonna show you how to open this wine. Then I'm gonna show you how to decant this wine for best effect. It's a little bit more effort, but it's really worth it to drink a, a beautiful old bottle like this. This is called an asso. It's different than a corkscrew because it has two prongs that go down the outside of the cork. You rock it back and forth to push each cork down to the outside and then you twist it and pull it up. So that pushes the cork together um, rather than a corkscrew which is likely to pull it apart. Um, this is a corkscrew. It's not a levered corkscrew, it's a plain corkscrew, but you can use a levered corkscrew. The corkscrew pulls the wine up from the center. The problem with the asso is on very old corks, sometimes you can wind up pushing the cork into the bottle. So what I like to do is use both. It's not pretty. They actually make a, a tool that can do this. It's quite expensive, but if you pick it up online, it's called a Durand. Um, but what I do is I go right into the center of the cork with a screw, with a worm kind of a screw like that, not like a, 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 a spiral screw around the center. And then I take my asso and I take the long side and I push it in first and then I rock the other side in and I rock it back and forth. My corkscrew is now making sure that the asso doesn't push the cork into the bottle of the wine. And so now I have this hybrid method. I'm gonna get 999 out of 1,000 corks out of here unless they're complete dust. And so I turn and I'm pulling from the outside and the inside and neither of these pieces of equipment is very expensive, less than $5 each. And there I go and I have my cork, my 25 year old cork, completely intact. I still have a problem for the enjoyment of this wine. Not a problem really, just something to deal with is that I've got sediment on the bottom. Now I want to decant this wine. I would decant a young wine into a decanter like this because you decant a young wine to oxygenate it. So I'd put a young wine in here and I'd swirl it all around. I'm not decanting it to get it off sediment, because usually young wine hasn't dropped sediment, but even if I were, if I wanted to cant wine, I put it in something like this where it's gonna hit a lot of oxygen. A delicate old wine like this, I don't want to do that. I don't want to expose it to a lot of oxygen, but I do want to get it off the sediment. This is the Jancis Robinson young wine decanter. This is the Jancis Robinson old wine decanter. And you see it even has a little top because I really am not decanting it to aerate it. So I'm going to pour it into here. It's gonna fill it most of the way up as opposed to leaving all that surface area. And I even have this to put it on top to limit the oxygen exposure because I wanna see this evolve in the glass. So when I decant, I take my bottle of wine. I know the sediment's on the bottom. Feel free to cheat and throw two layers of cheesecloth in here or a funnel. That works, that's fine. I prefer not to do that. You wouldn't do that in a restaurant unless you had to, unless you broke the cork. And then I pour the wine. Now, why is this candle here? It's here because I'm not holding the wine over the candle and cooking the wine. I'm looking at the flame as it refracts through the shoulder of the bottle. And as I do so, I can see when the first finger of sediment starts to crawl up to where it's gonna go into the decanter, and I stop and I lose, maybe I've lost this much wine. 
and that's perfectly fine. Now, if I'm not going to drink it right away, I put the top on the old wine decanter. You see I have minimal oxygen exposure, um, but when I'm ready to drink the wine, I take it and I pour it, and what you'll see, and I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but what you'll see with these older wines is they're not inky black and red like this wine when it was young. They're kind of a, a brick, almost brown around the edges, kind of like a t resiny tobacco leaf kind of thing. And that's what's supposed to happen after 25 years. And my God, it's fantastic. You just don't see wines like this anymore available on the market. We have it at stageofwineshop.com. It's the Taken from Granite Cabernet Sauvignon 1995 Soleil. Um, we'll also get you an Asso and a, and a Corkscrew if you like. Uh, 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 and you can also pick up the Durand at home. And the Jancis Robinson wine decanters and wine glasses are simply the best there's ever been. I hope you join us soon. Cheers. Stunning.